I want to talk to you a little bit to give us an update on our double game week FPL. So again, this one's for the fellas. As always, we keep this stuff short. But well, I'll start by saying I had stones. Yes. Get it. Got two goals in the game against bollocks i tell you what though i really really hate the idea of the fact that i did celebrate a city goal yeah this is what fpl will do to a man uh-huh you, as a united you, fan you've gone you, and celebrated like, i've a gone city and goal. celebrated a city goal it's not as bad as celebrating a liverpool goal though you know no. city is still to me a small team <laughs> they're <laughs> right just, they're just very good but how are you world, getting on in your double game week i'm not doing awful but i'm not yeah. doing as good as some of you guys are yeah. my mistake was not actually having any west Ham players because yeah. i didn't realize that leeds uh southampton yeah. got yeah. postponed because of southampton's fa cup game yeah something weird so like that. i'd gone and backed leeds in their double thinking i could see a couple leeds goals there yeah. maybe at least one clean sheet and obviously then they've just gonna lost one nil or whatever yeah They're so that, bad that's muddied right them now. lot and i couldn't change it after that because did i i no, no, I just used normal transfers, didn't I? Yeah, you could. But, no, you, you know, you couldn't. You couldn't change it because, um, w- well, you and me didn't know that they did didn't. Well, have, didn't I, didn't, I had think. Bamford too, yeah. and then we were there like it's just going to cost too much money to get rid of him now. Yeah, and then I had Meslier who didn't start. Yeah. Then I had Reese James who didn't start, even though Reese James tweeted out a picture saying, but "Look who's back." <laughs> 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 I can't believe it. Then Foden didn't start. Oh my God. Yeah, but he did I, come on. He did come on for like 20 minutes. And I think he's just back. He's playing tonight. And I, don't say I, that now. I swear, I City think he's just back. you're playing bagged. right now. Here, let me have a quick look for you now. Uh, no, I think he's bagged. Um, but yeah, so I'm on about 70 points, guys. And I've got about eight to nine players left to play for the second game. So I'm not, I am going to get over 100 points, I think. Yeah, he hasn't bagged. Sorry. Thanks um, for that. You sorry. really actually had me guess there for no. quite but yeah, it, nil, nil. Uh, yeah, I'm doing well right now. And uh, I tell You're you who's class. having, I tell you, no, I tell you who's having a storm or it's Chris MD in our league. And he was stinking. He was, he was set up for an absolute stinker. But what redeemed that man was Stones. Stones, uh, somehow you lot had him. He got the clean sheet, the two goals, the, uh, bonus the three bonus points. The guy was points 20, on, 20 on points. That's outrageous. Love that. So we'll keep you guys posted on that. There's a few more games. The double game week isn't finished at the time of recording this, but we'll keep you guys posted. Yeah, on and that. I had a double body blank flight. Like, oh, that guy, I think it might be, he might be running out here. The nah. juice might be, the body juice nah, might be don't going. Be, don't be saying he that. He is a bit old to be fair. Yeah, but Leicester are top of the league at season. the time of doing this. They're top of the league. And body ain't scoring the goals. Yeah, well, he was, but not now. Yeah, Madison lately, anyways, he might just be a bit off one. Madison like the Liverpool, the, oh, the Liverpool United game. Obviously, me being a Liverpool fan, Chipper being a United fan, stinker wasn't it? Nil nil stinker, but oh, like that was. You had it in the first half. Yeah, and United were a bit better in the second. Yeah, More be- not better, but better chances. Yeah, they did. They did have better chances. I, I don't know. I don't know what is happening. Someone has spiked our front three. But City are winning the league this year, right? Is that as given now? Uh, well, no, you can't say that, bro. The league is so tight. I know, but like City are just. Everyone actually, always says it. Like, it's like L- City at the beginning of the season lost two games. Everyone, Liverpool. Now, nah, but now it, it looks like they're kicking in, and you know, Aguero ain't even back yet. Have you ever done any videos with footballers before? Yeah, I've done one with Gary Cahill. Oh, fuck me, the Gary Cahill one. Yeah. So it was when I had my penalty king series running, mm-hmm. which was surprisingly popular considering how pretty shit I was at football. Right. And I did get a little bit better by the episodes. And just to like, confirm, this is a real life series, not a FIFA series. Yeah, right? it's a real life series where we you do a penalty shootout football yeah. video, cool. and I did it against YouTubers, and I finally did one with a professional footballer. Then yeah. it was Gary Cahill. It's obviously they just messaged me, and it was just a PlayStation thing they were doing. Like, oh, yeah. Gary Cahill is. Uh, we need someone to just make a video with him. And I was like, you know what? I could probably get a video out of this. Yeah. Penalty king against whatever. Get there, boom, he's sound as fuck. I recorded the entire video with him. I actually nearly beat him. It yeah. wasn't until the last pen that he beat me or something like okay, that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. was like, sat there watching, I was like, Gary, you know I'm going to beat you in your yeah. professional football. He's <laughs> like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and he did win. But I'm in the car home. Joel drove me there yeah. just for this yeah. and then drove me back as well, yeah, which yeah, was yeah. really nice of him. And then I'm on the way back. I'm looking at my camera and I'm like, fuck, there's no audio on this. Yeah. Maybe my speaker's <sighs> broke. Bang. Mike was plugged in, not turned on. <gasps> no! That is a worst nightmare scenario. Worst? Oh, such pain. Such. So it just such. got scrapped? I don't know what I did. I somehow did upload it. I can't remember what I did. Commentated it, maybe. I think so, maybe. I can't remember That's what I mad. did, but I did. I'm certain I got it up. Because I was like, and it was 
easily one of my best football really? King video. I can't believe how good it was. I love that. That's for you. why I was so good. And then I did Jamie Carragher as well. What have you been up to? What have you done this week? Um, Talk to me. I have done. Oh, I've done nothing. <laughs> You've done nothing. <laughs> I bought a lot of clothes. Uh-huh. I'm buying so I'm buying a lot of clothes at the moment. Like Same. I mean, I've actually spent way too much. How much money, money have you spent in the last two weeks on clothes? Three it's, weeks? it's gotta be. It's gotta be over. A couple of grand yeah maybe yeah yeah I, I, but I, I don't know what you and me both lately just we've been sending pictures of things we want to buy yeah. like it's mad i don't know i've just got like this thing inside mm-hmm. me that's like i, I need new clothes i've not bought any big brands like the most expensive thing yeah. i bought was a pair of trainers mm-hmm. for 350 it's just all what adding they, up what, what, what trainers were they it was the jordan one mockers you oh, know the brown one yeah 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 but they, that and that's the most expensive thing but everything else just adds up it's mad isn't it yeah i love it you got some vintage pieces as well people mm-hmm. were loving your fit in the last yeah podcast. a little bit of rick's retro you know Give yeah a shout out. why not everyone's been going to rick's retro a few of the boys harry got something from there uh-huh. bez has got something from there so they've been sorting everyone out um that wasn't a paid ad but there you go no it wasn't we, 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 just... we often we often promote things that we enjoy yeah. just anyways if it's, worth, if it's worth our time then we'll, get, we'll let you guys time. know for me, what have I been? Well, I, I bought a few things. Oh, I, I bought a jacket. So this is actually a bit well, not strange, but you sent me um, an inst- uh, a guy's Instagram profile, yes, and it was like, "Yo, Cal, I've been trying to find the trousers my man's wearing. They are sick." And you sent me them. They were so dope. It's yep. this guy that lives in Tokyo. Yeah, he's. How, uh, did you you just seen him from someone else? Sent I it to always you? I've followed like ten fashion influencers in the last like yep. two weeks, and then now it my suggested is full of yeah. them and then he came up and i was like this guy is so trippy pink. bro like, he's... i'm trying to wife him up yeah so he's from tokyo isn't he yeah he is and uh, anyway and so i was on his profile i was just scrolling through i was looking and then i went a few posts down and i saw this jacket and i was there like bro this is one of the sickest jackets instantly i i, I was scoured like you know you see if they tag the brand he didn't do none of that and i was there like no nah, this is pain so i was like okay i'm just gonna dm this guy dm them just randomly and he actually replied and he was like yeah it's from here this is it and i was there like this is amazing i found a place in the uk that sells it i've sold it and it's literally sitting right opposite there. Me there and it is banging so you'll probably see on my instagram at some point and i'm literally so gassed at it i mean I, I obviously that's the one thing i'll say about like fashion influence or whatever is these guys always look sick no matter what they wear always they like, can wear they, anything mate you can give them literally like a tablecloth and they'll make it look like some sort of gucci 600 pound dress it's unbelievable and then when you put it on it looks like a tablecloth yeah, you, you look like a piece of shit right that's the best way to find clothes at the moment i would say fashion influencers just follow them on instagram follow ones you like though yeah, like, yeah don't just sure. follow them because they were on love island or they no, were no none of them ones you nah. want to follow the ones that actually have an entire account dedicated to fashion yeah. like every post they do is about the and clothes every time you see that person post you think they look sick mm-hmm. like, and that's what happened when i that's saw when this guy know. dropped him the follow and i was like yeah, you, yeah every time you post you're looking drippy as yeah. fuck so where, where, where about do you tend to get a lot of your clothes from like what are the main spots because people are always bigging up your there fits. are so many different spots everyone asked about this jacket it was from a place called modern chore yeah then some of my other stuff is from a place called Cold Laundry. Yeah. Then Rick's Retro. Yeah. There's so many different places. And then obviously there'll be a couple of other. I bought some pan, a lot of pants recently from a place called Destructive. Yeah. Represent have yeah. a lot of stuff. The Man- that, they're Manchester based. They're yeah, sick. yeah, the guys from Manchester. But that yeah. is that's quite an expensive brand. But still, they have amazing stuff. I remember when they were selling T-shirts for twenty quid that just said Represent on them. And now what are they? And now it's like a T-shirt's like eighty quid, yeah, ninety quid, mad. and it's like proper. But it's all proper good stuff. Well, we're wearing it's- it right now. Oh, there you go then. Yeah, no, it's sick. And but now you know. I know everyone's been asking that. I saw a lot of comments, but always there, there. It's either about your outfit or your trim. Mm-hmm. I, it just it's and, a flip of the and coin. And it brings a, a place called. Oh, I forgot. I forgot the place actually. Oh no, that's an L because everyone asks about that. Crafted oh. London as well for okay. chains and necklaces. There you go, guys. Chibo has literally just given a bunch of fellas there some new uh, some new places you guys can go check out. But uh, it's important to find your own style, though. 100%. 100%. That. That's why I said follow a bunch of fashion influencers because they yeah. all do have a little bit different. Yeah. See which one you like the most and just piece it together. It's mad. I wonder what how, like, back me. in the day, like, obviously now we all go on Instagram and that's how we, like, well, you and me anyways, we, we're like, okay, he look, I like what he, before, is it just like TV, what people are wearing on TV? I guess it was, yeah. right? 